Hey guys, it is Catherine here at Wilkins. Um, hanging out here at the helmet wall. We got it restocked, all sorts of new helmets. I'm gonna talk to you guys today about a specific helmet style. We've had a lot of questions about it, um, about all the safety features, and also how to make sure you guys get a properly fitting helmet. So the helmet that we are highlighting today is gonna be the Capstone Modular Helmet. So this helmet is a really cool helmet. It is one of our most popular helmets here at the dealership. Um, we're gonna go over the safety features of it a little bit. So to start, obviously, um, style-wise, it does come in four different colors, gives you options, but there's a lot of really cool features that go into the capstone modular. Um, to start with, we're gonna start with kind of the outside of the helmet. So up here at the top, we have not one vent, but we also have two vents. So that allows you to have customization of kind of airflow to help keep you cool on those warmer days. Um, we also have this really nice, little visor that flips up. Um, it has two little lips on either side, um, which makes it super easy whether you're right-handed or left-handed like myself. Um, this little red button right here pulls the helmet up. So if you guys are going through, say, downtown Barrie, downtown Montpelier, through a Cow City area, you can flip this up. It's also super convenient when you're getting gas at the gas station or if you want something to drink. So a lot of people ask, well, where is the button for the sun shield on this to bring down the sun visor? So Harley updated it and it's actually right here on the side. So you pull that back and it pulls it down. Those are some of the basic features of the helmet. So now, another important thing is, is we're gonna look at the back of the helmet. So as you guys know, all of our helmets here are DOT safety certified. They have this nice little DOT marker on it. But a lot of people ask, what's this little one right here that says ECE and then a bunch of numbers? That's a really good question. So these helmets have been um, sent to an independent laboratory where they underwent numerous rigorous tests from any possible situation um, of a motorcycle accident to, to kind of determine how safe this helmet truly is and how much it can push and how much damage it can take before it breaks. Once that testing is done, they give it basically a grade and you know, to determine like where on the spectrum of this extra certification. Um, over in Europe right now, it is mandatory that all riding gear, not just helmets, are that ECE certified. So Harley-Davidson um, obviously is very concerned about the safety of their riders. So they started out with the helmets. Um, hopefully they'll be expanding to jackets and boots and gloves as well. So one of the biggest features with that certification is actually inside the helmet. So there is a significant amount of extra padding here on the inside. Harley did this to protect the lower jaw and cheek area because in one of the scenarios, they um, basically created a simulation where the bike would go over the front of the bike. And they found that the majority of the time, this general area right here is where you're gonna hit. So they provided all this extra padding to help keep you guys safe. So they really maximized the, um, the safety as well as obviously the style and customization of these helmets. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is finding a proper fitting helmet, because it can be tricky. Um, when it comes to not just the, ha uh, the full face modular helmets, but really any style helmet that we have here at the dealership, or any helmet you're getting at any dealership or any place where you can get motorcycle helmets, is you wanna make sure it's a snug fit. You want it to feel comfortable, Obviously, it is gonna, you know, put a little bit of pressure on, you know, the sides and the back and the front of your head, but you don't want it to feel like you're gonna get a headache. Um, so it's important to make sure that you are, you know, 100% confident, 100% comfortable with your helmet. So I've got Patrick over here, who's gonna give a demonstration of, of an improper fitting helmet. All right, Patrick, you ready? Mm -hmm, yep. <laughs> All right, so this is the capstone modular in the matte black. Um, this is a 3X. I already know Patrick's helmet size. I know this helmet is gonna be too small for him. But we're gonna focus on the, 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 the kind of the indicating features of what happens when a helmet is too small fitting. All right, Patrick. <laughs> All right. So the first indication was, is that when you're putting on a helmet that is too small, you're gonna have to wig, kind of wiggle back and forth and tug on it. The next thing that you're gonna see is, is yes, with this modular helmet, it does give you a little bit of a chipmunk cheek because of that extra padding, but you can see there's a lot of extra skin being pushed in right here. How does it feel? 
it's too tight definitely up here. Definitely up here. And that's another very big indicator is that especially with the full face helmets and even some of the half helmets is the, the three biggest locations to kind of let you know that a helmet is going to be too small is it's going to be you're going to feel immense pressure on your temples as well as also in the middle of your forehead it'll create what's called a hot spot. Those are really the three big indicators that a helmet is too small for you. Now try to take it off. <laughs> a little easier to take it off. But those are really the big things. Um, which is why when you guys come to Wilkins and you know come to us here in Motor Clothes and say, I need a new helmet. That's why we take so much time and have you try on different sizes because you may be one size in one helmet, but you could be a different size completely in a different helmet. Um, for me example, I am in the full face modulars and even in the full face helmets, I'm an extra large. But in our badass half helmets, I'm a medium. So you really want to make sure that you're 100% confident when you're picking out your helmet because it's one of those items that is important and it's going to protect you, you know. It is protecting one of the most important pieces of your body. So definitely something to keep in mind when picking out helmets. Um, we have completely restocked on all of our helmets. We've even brought some other styles back in. So you guys are more than welcome to come down, check out the helmets, ask myself, Lindsay, or Mandy any questions you guys might have. We have no problem answering questions on helmets. And hopefully we'll see you guys this weekend.